Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today we are watching me again and I'm once more in the Arizona. If you haven't figured it out by now, I truly love this ship and it is a really nice battleship. Now I'm on the map Trident in an epicenter game mode and I'm in a division with a friend who is in the Bayern. It's a tier 7 match but very few tier 7s so great matchmaking tier wise. Unfortunately, there are five enemy destroyers and there is one enemy carrier. That's not really what you want to see. This game actually happened, I think, one day before the new destroyers came. So still the old client version. And as you can see, it didn't change the fact that there are lots of destroyers around. So what do you want to do on this map? Well, obviously you want to have at least one ship in the center and try to capture or stop the enemy from capturing the points. You might want to have ships around here in order to provide fire support to your destroyers in the center. If your destroyer spots an enemy destroyer, then your destroyer needs support. And here I'm pushing my plane. I'm trying to get a few shells. I have absolutely no clue how the enemy cruiser is maneuvering, so I tried shelling the area. With pretty much no effect. Uh, anyway, so what's our plan here? We could try to push a flank. If you want to push a flank, make sure that you aren't too close to the zone wall. You still want to be in a position where you can help out in the center. And pushing a flank basically allows you to get well, flanking shots and maybe flush out enemies who are trying to hide behind the island in the center. Oftentimes on this map you end up at a stalemate with ships on just both sides of the island. And considering that there is already quite a bit of smoke going and a lot of shells flying my way, I decide to seek some cover behind the center island myself. Now I have destroyers around here, so I should get some advance warning if there are enemy destroyers pushing too hard. So yeah, currently I'm trying to get here into a better position. I'm still slightly angled towards the New Mexico. I don't want to show my full broadside. I also don't really want to turn around already, so I'm just trying to get closer to this island and get into cover. And suddenly we can see the Cleveland, so we do have, I think, an Atlanta here, so I'm assuming he used radar. And this Cleveland got caught unawares, he's sitting in smoke and he's currently detected. Which gives me some very nice shots at him, so the Cleveland noticed that this isn't gonna work and he's trying to speed up. But it's too late, I think the radar ran out, but I just saw his position and there goes the Cleveland. Now I get rid of the fires and I can, I can heal up and I'm in a somewhat okay position here. Now I have a destroyer in front of me, I have destroyers behind, uh, yeah, behind me and in front of me. And they should warn me if there are enemies pushing, they should also make the enemies afraid to push. Now I'm not shooting here, you can see this icon, this tells me that those shots will go into the island. Now this icon isn't always 100% right and it could mean that only some of my shells would have gone into the island so maybe I should have taken the shot but instead I held my fire and decided to go for the shores. The shores is not in a great position he has some limited cover behind this island but the island is just too small so I was able to get some pretty good hits. I'm slowly reversing I don't want to be too close to the edge of this island so it makes it harder for the enemies to ambush me also my destroyers who were in front of me just have abandoned the position now i'm still pretty good here in my rear there is like an atlanta and two destroyers protecting me there i don't have to be too worried i just have to keep an eye at the front like this emerald might just try something and i took care of the shores now my platoon mate is in a bit of a safer and probably more sensible position he is where he can still support all of us here but he is far less in danger of getting torpedoed uh, now the emerald seizes her moment she is going to storm around here that means she's probably has torpedoes and smoke ready and i'm prepared 
Unfortunately, while I got one Citadel hit, it was not enough to take out the Emerald. Now the Emerald is smoking. There is an airstrike incoming that failed and we see pretty planes falling from the sky. Now I'm reversing here. As you can see, the, this island is decent torpedo protection. If I can reverse a little bit more, then I should be pretty safe from the torpedoes out of the smoke. Uh, the Atlanta is going in. Maybe the Atlanta has radar ready. I'm hoping so and we can get some vision. Now the shots came somewhere from here. So I'm considering blind firing in there and I'm taking a chance. But didn't pay off. I should have held my fire. It was a mistake on my part. Now I could have gotten some shells into the enemy destroyer. And unfortunately the action from our Atlanta didn't work out. And there is a Minekase behind me. There are two destroyers here who can provide me fire support on the Minekase. I'm running my rear turrets. I'm also moving forward again in order to avoid those torpedoes. And try to get a little bit closer to the island. Get again some torpedo protection from the front. Now hopefully I can make those shells count. This Minekase has to go down. I can't really defend on both sides. And yeah, my aim was a bit off. I should have given a little bit more lead, but as you can see, my torpedo protection in the front is working quite nicely. Now I should have retreated from this position a little bit sooner. I guess I'm kind of stuck here now. I'm trying my best to dodge torpedoes, but this Minekase is still around. And again, I can't focus on two sides. And now I'm, while I successfully dodged that, I'm too far forward now and I'm in a very bad position is Mutsuki. Unfortunately didn't dodge those torpedoes even though they were spotted quite a bit and the Minekase is now turning so it makes it hard to aim. Made a bad judgment call. The Minekase wasn't turning in that direction and I've moved too far forward. I'm now too close to those enemies. I can get rid of fire and flooding here. My platoon mate takes out the Emerald but there is still the Farragut and the destroyer behind me. Friendly destroyers here went down. Now I get some great shells at the Farragut, but unfortunately that Minakaze is still alive. And there might be torpedoes incoming. Now, can I get the Minakaze? Yes, I can, but the torpedoes are coming. And my ship is in no position to move out there. And look at that, there is a Kiev as well. Now I have no way to get rid of the flooding. I'm set on fire as well in two locations, so my ship is going down, there is nothing I can do about it. Maybe I can get off one final salvo? Nope, I can't. Now my division mate is... yeah, he is still around. It's a pretty close battle, it's free versus free. And yeah. Now let's have a look how he is doing against the Kiev. It's, it's a pretty decisive battle here. If the Kiev manages to take out my division mate, then we are left with the Colorado and the Independence. And the enemies... Well, I think they have like nice now or something still left. Now... He is doing a great job here avoiding the torpedoes. And hopefully he can take out the Kiev now. Kiev is trying to smoke, but he is far too close. And down goes the Kiev. Now the only real threat left is the Gneiser now. They shouldn't have any problem dealing with the carrier afterwards. So my division mate is moving away from the Gneiser now. Caustic Nice now has torpedoes, and you really don't want to be in torpedo range. Now, the torpedo range is six kilometers, but by moving away and constantly increasing the distance, and the torpedoes having to catch up, he is quite safe. So, all he has to do is angle and entertain this Nice now a little bit. The Nice now is showing broadside to the other friendly battleship, and the Nice now is in a bad spot because if he tries to angle for the other battleship, then I'd be showing broadside to the Bayern. So, 
It's only a matter of time until they head to the Gneiss now. And there it is. So very well done here. Only the carrier is remaining and there is no way the carrier will stop this. So our team can now capture in peace and then try to hunt down the carrier. And when you take a look at the minimap, all of those ships sunk here. It was a really a big, big brawl in the center. And it was very enjoyable to play. So, yep, this is a win. Let's jump to the results. I got myself 2,108 base experience and I'm very happy with that. Obvious shout out to my Division Wade who played very well. He chose a little bit of a safer position, staying back and probably the wiser choice. I got myself stuck behind an island. First I thought my flanks were secured, but well, turns out I was wrong. I got caught between the enemies and their torpedoes and my ship exploded. Anyway, it was a lot of fun to play and I certainly hope it also was a lot of fun to watch. So I did almost 69,000 points of damage and while this was certainly no spectacular part on my side in this battle, it was just very fun to watch and to see this major brawl happen, as you could see in the minimap in the end. Oh, a lot of ships sunk at that island. So I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I'll see you guys next time.